Hello and welcome to the last part of the tutorial for making this coin press. Just a quick recap. Um, the whole tutorial is divided into six parts. I've already talked about what all is needed to make it, the pattern, how to crochet the two parts of the coin purse, uh, how to sew them together. In the previous video I showed you how to sew the lining and today I will show you how to sew the frame and cover the stitches. Links to all parts as well as all necessary information can be found in the description down below. For this type of pattern, which has uh, 20 basic rows, a round frame that is 8.5 cm wide is suitable. You can buy these and many other types of frames on AliExpress or Amazon. I found a lot of awesome frames and ordered other types and sizes for the future tutorials. Uh, so I'm hoping I get it delivered soon. Okay, so we will take the frame and put it on the purse. Uh, you can see that uh, the frame doesn't quite copy the shape of our crochet, but it's perfectly fine because once we sew it on, it will look very nice. To make it easier to sew, I'm going to attach the frame in three points, here at both ends and in the middle. So I thread my big eye needle. You can use any thread you want, it doesn't matter because then uh, we will remove it. I will start sewing here in the center of the frame, so I will make sure I have the frame positioned correctly and I'm gonna sew the frame in this point and make a knot. It's a good idea to trim the ends uh, so they don't get in the way. I will do the same on each side. And do the same on the other side. Okay, so this is how we prepared it. Uh, now I'm gonna cut a piece of clear nylon thread. I throw my needle. And either on the inside here or in the front between the beads, I will tie a knot, tie the thread in so you can see it. I will make another one to secure it, just between the beads, don't go uh, inside the hole of the beads. And I go with my needle towards this first hole. I will go through the hole from the inside and now I pick up a bead and go through the same hole again through the other side. Uh, try to make sure that the needle comes out so that it does through the crochet but doesn't go too far inside the purse. It's okay if you can see the stitches a bit, because then we will cover them with uh, this braided ribbon. Then we will cover it like this. So there can be visible stitches, it doesn't matter. Okay, so the first bead covers the hole and we will sew back and forth this way. Um, so I sew 
back through the next hole through this one Pick up a bead and sew through the same hole. And the second bead is in place. First, second. And back again. Pick up a bead and do exactly the same. It can sometimes be difficult to insert the needle at the right angle, but with a little practice you can do it in no time. Uh, when you finish the last bead in the hole, uh, hide the thread between the beads and make a knot. So I go with my needle back to the front side. And make a knot between the beads. Just between the beads, don't go with your needle through the holes of the beads. And cut a thread. And finally I can remove the yarn. Uh, both halves are sewn and now cover the stitches. I find it uh, most helpful us to stick this braided ribbon in here. It's a synthetic material so I cut and seal both ends so it doesn't fray. I will get some glue on a toothpick. I'm using Uhu All Purpose Strong Glue. Of course use whatever glue suits you, but it should be suitable for the fabric. I will slowly apply the glue and put the ribbon inside in small sections. My purse is open a lot when I glue it. And here I glue the ribbon a little looser in the corners to allow room for closing and opening uh, so the ribbon doesn't get tied. Thank you. 
and I cut off the edges and seal them. And the purse is all done. It takes a lot of hours of work uh, to make, but I think it's worth it. Let me know down in the comments what do you think. Would you like to see um, tutorials for other types of purses? Uh, also, I would like to ask you if you like this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, check my Patreon or membership here on YouTube if you are interested in some premium features. And that's all for today. Happy beating and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!